Yo, what's going on, boys and girls? Welcome back to a brand new vlog. Here we are, day two in quarantine. We are in Auckland, New Zealand, in the isolation facility. We'll be here for two weeks total. And quite frankly, I thought we'd do a little vlog. I thought we'd do a 14-day progression video and let you guys know what life is like here behind bars in prison. Because quite frankly, that's pretty much what it is. Down here, we've got the military and the navy. That's their little base. We're all locked in and fenced off. We've got John and Gary out for their morning little walk, their little social distance chat. That there is social distancing at its finest. They're that far away, they almost got to yell at each other. Good job, Nigel and Gary. So obviously we are allowed a little bit of outside time. There's limited times of the day where you can go outside. Other than that, you must stay within your facility. Now we do got a pretty good view up here on the third story. This is how I've been spending my day. We've got Rainbow's in theme park across the road and I've been sitting here watching these fuckers scream all day. <laughs> Other than that, the rooms you get are really nice. We're actually staying in a five-star hotel. I'll give you boys a quick little cheeky tour. Right off the bat, we've got the master kitchen. That's where Bella will be spending most of her time, cooking me fucking eggs. Tea, coffee, hot chocolate, sugar, toaster, jug, coffee, snorkel, dishwasher, microwave, all the necessities. Up next, we've got the couch, flat screen TV, dining room, massive fucking bed. This bed is massive. I feel like Dan Balzerian sleeping in this big bed. In here, we've got a massive shower. Look at the size of this big girl. She is huge. Vanity, toilet. Over here, this is my gaming set up a PC computer keyboard mouse pad mouse headphones the desk was too thick for the boom arm so we clamped it on the side of the night light there we're actually using that as a ring light look at that lighting other than that my computer got damaged on the plane I had to duct tape my case and ship back on so now that I've shown you boys the fucking room why don't we tell you about the procedures and what's involved in a day-to-day -day basis first things first each day you get a new menu you get to order breakfast lunch and dinner they basically bring it up to your door you get a knock you put a mask on open the door brown paper bags waiting on the ground you pick it up you go to your table you fucking dig in. So on today's menu we've got the Sebel breakfast which is your eggs, scrambled fried, grilled tomato, hash bites, bacon, sausage, bread and a bottle of juice. Either that or you can have the vegetarian breakfast which who cares about that because I'm not a vegetarian. For lunch you can have a Caesar salad or a vegetarian nachos and for the main meal you can have a lamb rump or broccoli fritters. Dessert, salted caramel porch pears or a cheese board. On another day for an example you got hot porridge with berry peaches, pancake, whipped cream, maple syrup and a smoothie. You got granola with yogurt, pancake, whipped cream, maple syrup and a smoothie. Lunch you've got seafood chowder with garlic bread, mushroom soup with garlic bread, the main meals you've got herb crusted salmon with roast pumpkin, you've got a spinach ricotta, dessert you've got the black forest cake or a cheese board. So as you can see each day each meal's different so you're not eating the same shit every day. Some meals are better than the others, some taste like microwave shit, others taste fresh and crispy. It's just luck of the draw, it all comes down to the day. So it's nearly lunchtime now, when we get the knock on the door I'll show you boys the goodies inside. I'm going to show you guys every meal from now till I leave. After breakfast is delivered at 7am you get a nurse come around to your room, she checks your temperature and all that shit. Later on in the day you go downstairs for a COVID test, you get a plastic tube shoved into your brain, you get something shoved down your throat and Bella is an expert and she is very good at that aren't you darling hey? <laughs> Now for those wondering, yes you can order groceries and Uber Eats, basically the truck will pull up at the front gate, they'll be met by the military, the military will check all the bags, check the driver, they'll put it on a cart, wheel it in, same thing goes, bring it to your door, not open the door for mask, grab the package, and Bob's your uncle. Righty boys, lunch is served, let's see what we got. Pasta, meatballs, parmesan cheese, pretzels, pear, moment of truth. Me, that is beautiful. I'm gonna give this meal about a 7 out of 10. Absolutely exquisite. Fuck me, I take that back boys. 10 minutes later I'm sitting on a shitter. Fuck me, that went straight through me. Now there's one rule in this facility I'm not too happy about. And that is that you're only limited to 3 alcoholic beverages a day. That is 3 beers and no more. You order any more, you will not get them. The Ministry of Health Guidelines recommends 2 standard drinks a day for women. No more than 10 standard drinks a week. And 3 standard drinks a day for men. Normally I like 10 standard drinks a day, not a week. You guys know my motto, 10 drinks a day keeps the doctor away. So we are on Struggle Street guys, this is all we've had today. Five Steinlager Pures, a beautiful New Zealand brew might I add. I have missed these bad boys. Oh, it's that time again, bear o'clock. Alrighty boys, dinner's here, let's see what we got. Fruit salad, Fanta, roast lamb, corn, potatoes, peas. Mmm, not bad. A little bit chewy, a little bit stringy, but hey, there's people in Africa starving, I can't complain. Mmm, 
little bit of butter with those potatoes, bit of gravy. Mmm! The next day. Righty, breakfast is served. Bread, juice, scrambled eggs, tomato, bacon, hash brown, sausages. I'll grab two of the big breakfast, please. I uh, will go with the two of the beef burgers, two of the roast pork shoulder, and two of the plum pudding. Awesome, thank you. Two hours later. Lunch is officially served. Let's see what we got. Look at that, a nice, beautiful dish of Caesar salad. We've just freshened up, and now it's time for a workout. I live a rock star lifestyle, always getting wasted. Yeah. Baddie in my mansion, ask her how she wanna play. Lay a proper like a track, I'm counting. <sighs> That's me. I'm fucked. Two hours later. Let's see what we got for dinner. Water, peach pear dessert, lamb, carrots, lettuce. The next day. Bacon, egg, avocado, toast, sausage, smoothie, chocolate milk, cinnamon donuts. Two hours later. Righty, lunch is served. Let's see what we got. Water, burger, chips, hash browns, lemon cake. Look at this nice, thick prime beef patty. It is fucking beautiful. <laughs> this honestly beats a Big Mac from McDonald's. Righty, boys, it's finally time for a little bit of outside time. Let's go see what fresh air smells like. Ooh, that's a good man. Well, that was a fun 30 minutes of sunlight. Now it's time for a few beers. Let's see what we got for dinner. Cake, Fanta, lamb, peas, carrots, potato, bacon. The next day. Juice, muesli, biscuits, mandarin, ham cheese croissant and an egg. Two hours later. Bottle of water, fish, chips, salad, tartia sauce. Two hours later. Bottle of water, chicken, potato, carrots, mango, strawberry mousse. The next day. Eggs Benedict, smoothie, muesli bar, muffins. Two hours later. Pizza, yogurt, nuts, bottle of water. And you guys get the gist, that's all that's been going on. Eat, sleep, shit, fuck, repeat. So I'm gonna wrap the vlog up here. I've given you boys a rough rundown on what happens on a day-to-day -day basis. I've shown you guys the meals, what we do, which is sweet fuck all. So rather than show you guys another 24 different meals, I'll see you boys when I get out of this place and we're gonna kill the game. We're gonna be pumping out bangers left, right, and center. Obviously, I'd like to thank the staff here. They've been absolutely professional. The meals have been great. The facility's great. They do an awesome job looking after you. So if anyone does have to spend a time in one of these facilities, the only thing you gotta be worried about is being bored shitless other than that they look after you awesomely that is it from me ladies and gentlemen if you did enjoy it hit the like button drop a sub i'll see you boys all when i get out ash get it